Haggerty. Haggerty's going to wrestle uh, Nando Viscusa okay. in the uh, in the in the next round. final next round. Okay, sounds good. All right, we're going to go to a little bit lighter weight now. Terakina. Yeah, we're going to go back to one twenty-five. Yep, Tyson uh, Kyson Terakina and and Blake Gimo, Giam. Mo, I know I'm not Gia getting that. Giamo. Giamo. Yep. Giamo. I know. I, was I practiced yeah, that one forever, but it took. <laughs> I only know it because I have been covering him in high school for so long. Yeah. Giamo. Giamo. Giamo looking tough. He's got to take on what's been a real consistent starter for Iowa State and Tyson Terrakina. So, see if Giamo come through here. Tyson, Tyson Terrakina has had a lot of great matches over the years. So. And on the shot was Terrakina. Nice defense there by Giamo. Am I doing it right, Tony? Giamo? Yep. Giamo. 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 Uh, and um, big takedown there by Kyson Terrakina. He's up three to zero. Two minutes to go in the first period and starting to ride up, run up a little riding time would be. Tyson Terrakina. Yep. Terrakina is one of those nebulous uh, seniors. Yep. Um, he is a two-time NCAA qualifier back in 2021-2022. Last season, he started the season off, wrestled in the uh, NWCA All-Star match, got injured, and never, great, never got dude. back in the lineup. Yeah, injury. So Yeah, it was tough. Yeah, he dude. was 3-2 and two before that injury and and looked really good at the beginning oh, of the season. He, he was on fire. number six, Eric Barnett. Yeah, against Wisconsin. beat the Wisconsin Badger. He sure did, yeah. Yep, so, um, you know, he was the NCAA qualifier in uh, 2022 um, at 125, also in 2021 at yeah. 125. So I'm sure he'd like to have a great going out season. Yeah, and so one, two, three. So he is, a, he is truly a senior this year. On his senior season out of Hawaii. Great state of Hawaii who's produced some great wrestlers. Grant Naka, Grant Nakamura. Yeah, absolutely. Remember Grant Nakamura from Hawaii? Had some great wins. And so Jaimo, had the big pin in Iowa City. Absolutely. Grant Nakamura. Did. Back in the day. Back in the day. So Jamo, a freshman from, from Ely, Iowa. Yep. That's uh, just south of Cedar Rapids just a little bit. And he prepped at Cedar Rapids Prairie High School. He was a three-time high school medalist and a two-time finalist. Can you name me three good wrestlers? Out of, I know there's been tons over the years, obviously, but three top notchers. Trent. Huh? Trent Heenick. Trent Heenick. Yep, that's right. Who beat, you remember who? Uh, Brock Lesnar. <laughs> he right. did the match. Right. He back beat Brock Lesnar three back, to two. Back Trent in Heenick. the day. Cedar Rapids Brewery. I'm yeah. not going to give you the third. Tell me who the third is. Well, we got four then because I forgot about our buddy Heenick. How about the Zaleski brothers oh, and Barry Davis? Well, yeah, if we're going to go to Iowa, the Zaleski, yeah, because yeah. Barry and, and the Barry two Davis and the two Zaleski. Jim and Lenny all wrestled the same time I did. They were all, yeah. Back in the day. Cedar Rapids Brewery guys. Yeah, they were some great ones. Yeah, those Prairie teams are really, really good. Oh, they then. had some teams, didn't they, over the years? But, yeah. So, Jimo starts bottom. Nine to two is the lead for Terrakina. Yeah, I was really uh, interested to see how Terrakina come back this season after the injury and you know yeah. and sitting out for the entire year last year. Yes. So, but he looks he looks really good here in yep. early on. He must have paid attention to his physical therapist, get yeah. the injury taken care of, and get healthy. And because I know he's been ranked high over the years, yeah. in and out of the rankings, pretty oh, yeah. high at times. Absolutely. He's a guy they're really going to count on to set the stage this year. Oh, yeah, big time. Yeah. yeah. Jimo's a real good wrestler, right, Tony? You know about him and what he's accomplished. And so, but Terrakina, well, a lot of experience here for for Kyson. Yep. Terrakina. 110, so. and 110 wins, 11 losses in, in high school in three seasons. So he's had some great, great times in his career. Yep. But you know just that's a freshman, a, so it could that, be the future. Yep. Here for Iowa State University. Always a step Cyclones. up when you come to come to college. Yeah. A lot of adjustment. Oh, yeah. That's why that red shirt year is so important, I think. Yeah. A lot of physical maturity. Kids' bodies are still developing at this stage yeah. in their lives. So. Well, and the, the one thing that's a little different today is that um with the RTCs, you know, so many 
uh, high school wrestlers are wrestling at the RTCs and wrestling with the college wrestlers so sure. often, you know. So, so that's not quite as big a deal as it once was back in the day. All right. Both these wrestlers, typical 125 pounders, a lot of speed. It's fun to watch them. <laughs> There's just so much action and reaction. Their action reaction at this weight class. That's the way lower weight classes are. I mean, that's where I think our Dave, our buddy Zabriskie had an advantage, believe it or not, even though he was outweighed by 40 to 60 pounds by every match. But yeah, he was a lot faster than the big guys. Just you know? quicker, yep. Because I think the year he won his title, he weighed 219. Yeah. That night in Omaha, when Zabriskie won his title with another Rochalt match. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, those two guys, Oklahoma <laughs> oh, State. Man. Those were two. Battled two great, many, many, great many times that year. Their Big 12 match, I think, that year might have been the greatest heavyweight match I ever saw. Oljalt Zabriskie down in Norman, Oklahoma. 9-3 to three now, Tyson, Kyson, Tarakina leads. And Kyson has a, a minute and 19 seconds of riding time. So. Pretty solid. I mean. So up and out quickly. That's yep. nice to see. Got out. Got his escape. 10 to 7. He's trying to work on a major here against Guy Mom, maybe here out of Cedar Rapids Prairie. But, uh, yeah, we're going to, on all the high school kids, we're going to turn and look at Tony and say, Yep. Tony, tell us how Keep to pronounce all these guys. Man. He's <laughs> the <laughs> expert. He's the guy who knows them all. He's the expert. We've always been known to love <laughs> high school wrestling, but we kind of, they're the college guys, and Tony's Tony's great at both, actually, but he keeps try track of the high school. Try level. to be. <laughs> great at the high school level. Big take down there by Kais and Tarakina, keeping the riding time up now, 13-3. to three, So, with a 10-point lead over Gymo. Now, tilt. Gymo. Gymo. It's Gymo. It. Gymo. He's leading Gymo right now, 13-3. to three, So, I'm sure Gymo would like to get out, maybe get away from the um, major, possibly, if he could. But Tarakina has got so much experience. Yeah, I mean, it's always interesting to see these freshmen come in, and yes, it's, sir. A, it's a different world, right? Yep. And um, you have to have it's it's just a different style of wrestling. A lot of these high end high school wrestlers aren't used to getting road, right? So yep. I think it's um it's a huge learning experience for them to to, to figure out how to get out the bottom. Yeah, it's it toughest, sure is. It's a toughest Tough transition. Spot. It is. You see it repeatedly, Tony. Well, that, everyone's good at this level, right? And they are. Then yeah. the thing you throw in on top of it is, I've, I'm, I'm not living at home anymore. I'm off in college. I'm, got, <laughs> you know, the rigors are trying to figure that whole deal out. Their whole atmosphere's changed. Yeah. <laughs> so the average kid, and then trying to go to practice and everything else. So it's a lot to sort out. It's a lot to sort out. Jaimo gets the escape. So 13 to four now. Nine point lead here for Terrakina. A Hawaiian lion, <laughs> we'll call him. He he's fun to watch. He's so smooth, man. When he shoots those low shots, I notice he practically hydroplanes across the wrestling mat. So he just really, and he's good upper body too. He's not afraid to tie up here with with Jaimo. So Jaimo's in good shape though. He's got good lungs. I mean, he's been able to hang with him as far as cardio goes. But the technique's just been. Supreme here for Tyson Tarakin as your winner there. Yep. Long time starter, but good match for the freshman out of Cedar Rapids Prairie. So 